welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Thank you, Joey Nunchucks, for sending this in. We always appreciate your guys' instrumentals and original songs. You can send them to yourmomspodcast at gmail.com. Yourmomspodcast. There's no house in that email address. Thanks to everyone that came out this weekend in Des Moines, Iowa. It really was a maze for me. Um, I really, I had a blast. I hadn't been there since... September 2016 and uh, so so fun so you guys uh, were awesome great shows I love you for it um, Jean where can people see you coming up uh, February 23rd one night one show only at the Calusa Casino in Calusa California and then March 30th and 31st in Portland Oregon at Hiram Comedy Club and tickets for that one it's going really fast, so if you if you want to come see it, uh, get the sh- get the tickets, Christina P online. Now I've added some more stuff. Uh, it's just in the works. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm uh, I'm gonna be in Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, you are. Yeah, in like March. Lexington. That's sold out. Columbus, Ohio, later in March. That's all sold out. Oh my god. Salt Lake City in April. That's all sold out. What? Uh, Australia. That's all sold out. Get out of here. Uh, then I'm going to Spokane. In May, some tickets left there. Well, Shart Lake Titties. I'm yeah. also going there. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Chartlet, North Carolina. Uh, tickets are there. Omaha, Brea, Breast Balls Beach, Florida. Um, we're adding a third show in New Orleans. I think that goes on sale this Friday. Uh, that's in September. So thanks to everybody in uh, Louisiana that got tickets. Those are going to be fun shows. And uh, that's that. Pretty exciting stuff going on, Gene. Yeah. It's a maze. A maze. Excite. Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And a uh, huge thanks to everyone who uh, got mugs. There's a bunch of, there's a couple <laughs> mugs um, on sale at our store. One is Next Stop. Brown talk. Of course, because that's what coffee does. That's what coffee does. It makes you brown. And then the other one um, is from my special. It says, don't you hate everyone. And uh, both have been flying off the shelves. Thank you for that. There's other merch on sale. There's some new stuff coming, I believe, next week. I'll let you know about it. You can go to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura or go to TomSegura.com and hit the store. Um, That is it. Gene, are you ready to... Get this started. Yeah, piss on me, beat me. Okay, you got it. You got it, Gene. What's your driver's license number? I don't have to give that to you. Let me see your driver's license. You're not a police officer. You just hit my vehicle. Ma'am, give me your driver's license. You pulled right out in front of me. Yeah, and when someone pulls in front of you because there's an emergency, you slow your I rear end re- down and you stop. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. There it is, Jean. Do you think um, there was a day where she woke up and was like, oh, I don't want to be a woman anymore? You think that she threw in the towel? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Or do you think it's gradual? Or has she always just been like, I don't feel like I don't feel like it today? Ah, oh, man. I think it's been a slow process. Yeah. First of all, I will... I don't like pointing this out, but you did 100% assume her pronoun. So did I right then. We don't know. There's no way of knowing it anymore. There is no way. And how cruel of us to assign a pronoun to some. I, I apologize. Like, hey, um, hi. How, how are you? What's your name? What's your pronoun? Well, I'm yeah. assuming it's a she. It used to be a she, and now it's, it's a they. You think so? Kind of they ish? No. They ish? That's interesting. It does happen to women at a certain age. I mean, we've talked about the shut it down mm-hmm. wife or the shut it down lady. It's a, it's a phenomena. It's a shut it down. 
Usually the shut it down starts with a haircut. That's what we've learned. <laughs> oh, yeah. with, the, with the moms? Yeah, moms yes. do, a, do a more masculine cut and they it's, go, it's yeah. part of my shut it down move. It's the Tony Hawk. Yeah. The bangs. And the Shut front. it down happens with bodies, too. I mean, we always see, I mean, with both sexes, it's not just a female thing. But no, no. You see people, they're like, oh, they threw in the towel on that. Not, yeah. No self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> None. Yeah. Yeah. Total disregard. Yeah. It, to me, look, I, I just say it because, you know, you got to fight. You got to fight the good fight. fight. You, you can't try. just throw in the towel. I mean, look, it's a fight every day for me. I'm struggling. <laughs> It's always for, hard. For both of us. Yeah. I'm pregnant. You know, you're tired. I'm tired. You think I want to fucking put on makeup or yeah, shower? I gotta, I gotta say no to sweets. Yeah. I work, hire a trainer. <laughs> trying, man. It's making an effort. Just try to make some And that's kind the thing is that your significant other sees the effort and they go, well, he's trying. I mean, he might look like a fucking pile of dog shit, but he's trying. <laughs> I know? don't think you look like a pile of dog shit. I think it you look great. doesn't look much better than that. At least we're both swagged out in our three-stripe life. Finally. I'm so excited that you've joined my tribe. Mm -hmm. I've been Euro trash my whole life. I yep. came out of my mom's vagina wearing one of these. Yeah, and I'm so excited that Team Adidas has given you. They threw me some nice. I stuff. love it. They gave me a bunch of stuff. I've just been, I just been flexing, stunting on these fools with all my new Adidas Fucking swag. Love I it, like dude. it. I like it a lot. Welcome to Team Euro Trash. How do you feel? I love it. I it's love it. Fucking great, right? It's the best and free shit. I mean, you yeah. know, I, I understand. I've it's gross. To be able to buy stuff and get free stuff, but it's the best <laughs> at the same time. It's the a best, massive dude. box of free Adidas. So I love it. Shout out to Adidas. Um, you know, I got I got some nice messages from executives. Yeah, yeah, they were. Dude, like, I got to write some Adidas shit in my next special, dude. Make or it a anything. family affair. Just, just do it. Do any product that you like. <laughs> I know. I should. <laughs> any free. Wait, what do we need for free? I mean, what do you diapers? Like? Yeah, we got a whole new baby coming. Fuck Pampers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Actually, I like I'm Pampers. Team, okay, fuck Huggies. There you go. Huggies, Huggies. are the worst. I'm team Pampers. I can't even use uh, fucking Huggies, man. Yo, I didn't know. I mean, of course, I had no idea because I'd never bought them. But yeah. God damn, diapers are expensive as shit. Yeah, they are, and I buy like a month supply at a time. It's God. like fifty dollars, dude. I know for like a a box. Yeah, son. And then you got to do the wipes. You can't just dry wipe a baby's mm -mm. ass. That's no. another fucking fortune, man. And you got to get the quality wipes. You get the cheap wipes, you're buying double. You pay you pay the price, man. Now, uh, I know they sent you the track pants that go with yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I got okay. matching pants. Are you going to are you going to go full Euro trash and do that? You know, or? they also sent me this like gray uh Adidas sweatpants sweat matching top. I love it. For flights. I'm going to start wearing Hell that yeah, for dude. Flights. Say I tell you in the '90s, I was all about the matching Adidas. Mm -hmm. They had the rollover sweatpants, and I had the tearaways, the three striped tearaways that match this jacket. Yeah, I mean that's fantastic. Also, there's products you know you never think of trying, but someone gives it to you. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm, this is not a paid thing, but those boosts they sent me pure boosts and ultra boost shoes. Yeah, so so I, I never would have bought them because I just don't you know I don't buy everything that I hear about. But yeah. I went crazy uh, on it. Can I ask you though? Because yeah. now looking back in retrospect, those tearaway pants, not very like practical. Like, what do people? I guess, it's just for bas. It, it's a it's a spinoff from basketball because in basketball you wear your they're your warm ups. So you wear them yeah. while you're warming up, and then it's game time. You just go rip, and your shorts are. You on don't have either. to pull them down. Right. You can just rip them off. I always thought tearaways were the coolest thing too. I remember they kind of are. I remember playing JV basketball, and we had tearaway pants and that was the thrill of the game <laughs> was just doing the tear away yeah. you feeling like you're a pro yeah i mean i wasn't athletic at all but i just like the idea of snap up pants of course it's so silly yeah and then like the super cool guys you know they didn't button them all the way down so they had like two open at the bottom yeah i did that yeah. i give it a little flare a little flare yeah kind of nice mm -hmm. and you kind of half jog those are things you yeah. didn't really jog when you had them you're like <laughs> <laughs> You know what I do love about the three stripe uh, full track suit? What's that? It never goes out of style. No, these it yeah, this is never. timeless. It's timeless. Timeless, dude. Seventies. This is the 80s, same thing 90s. that Run DMC was wearing. Dude, yeah. It's fucking dope. It still, it looks, still good. looks fresh. Look Adi at this. Adidas. Adidas. I love this. This yeah. is official Hungarian gear, dude. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so I'm so stoked. Except you need all white ones. That's that's, that's real extra Eastern. gangster. Yeah. I need to get you a gold medallion. <laughs> Where's your gold jewelry, dude? It's coming. I can't um, wait. Let's see what they continue <laughs> to do here. They're really uh, pissed at, I believe it, this is the garbage truck driver. Oh. 
poor guy is just. Those are the worst. That's the worst job to have, man. Let, I don't know if it's the, the worst go. job. It's like, but can you can you give the guy? I mean, listen, it's a hard job. She really flips out. Oh, jeez. Okay, have you ever cars. had someone have an emergency? These are not cars. And pull in front of you. These are not cars. They don't stop on a dime. It doesn't matter. You have to be far enough behind. You know what? I'm going to tell you the whole. You should have picked up my trash, big boy. I... <laughs> big boy. Yeah. You didn't pick up my trash, big I boy. Trash. No, you didn't. You want to go see what you left? I left the carpeting and the You're bags. supposed to pick up everything. Nope, four bags. Yeah. Oh, four. you are in so much and deep last crap. Week, well, I you wait till your boss you tells you what you got to pick up. He's on his way here, too, You man. think you get to decide what you pick up and what nope, you don't? No, it's what you ordered. You, look- you know what uh, I'm always amazed by? Huh. This lady's so angry, and she yeah. doesn't curse. Oh, when yeah. someone can do that, She's like, big boy, your rear end. Like yeah. she's so heated, and she's not dropping any. I don't know how people do that. She keeps it Christian. Ke- yeah, Christian temper. I don't know. Who I has can't a Christian do that. temper on him. Oh no, I I'm, can't do that. I can't. If I'm super anything. pissed, oh, the no. worst things come no, out. No, no. Yeah, I mean, she's really heated. I, I, I gotta tell you, I, I'm I'm sorry, s- I keep saying she. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm still blown away just at how man, m- uh, masculine she is, and the shoulders and the tank got, top. She's got big and, shoulders. She might be a weightlifter though. I don't think so. You don't think she... She she, she had better shit to do if she were. I just feel like she got nothing going on. Hmm. Might be doing a lot of strict press, a lot of power cleans. (laughs) Twerp. That's what you ordered. Twerp. twerp. I know what I ordered. Okay. And you're going to pay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, baby. Okay. You like your job? No. I'm a garbage man. Yep, I do. Yeah. Well, good luck because you ain't going to have it. Pass the day, baby. Okay. Oof. What a weirdo. It's always crazy to me when someone thinks they have that much power. <laughs> like, what is she, Who no. the fuck are you that you're going to decide whether this guy has a job or not? Yeah. And she's going to spend that energy oh, doing that. Whoa. Yeah. And they pull in front of you, you slow down and you stop. Boy. I tried to slow down. You you didn't try <laughs> hard enough, baby. These don't stop on a dime. you slammed into the back of me. These don't stop on well, a dime, Well, you should man. know that. You should have picked you up my give me time. You didn't give me time. <laughs> I think, you know, what would be interesting is what do you think those tits weigh? Uh, <laughs> we've been talking about uh, yours, yeah. but those are no joke, right? Those are no joke, and they're she's not wearing a, any kind of support bra what, at all. What size do you think those are? No oh, one, H. H? H sloppers, and they're not even contained, but I'm surprised there's they're no wild. jiggle. She's got wild tits on Oh, uh, yeah. That top <sighs> is not flattering for that either. Yeah, she's got some big old Fuck, tits. she is special. Yeah. She is touched. Again, we keep assuming, but... You know, I, I just think it's such... I, I, don't, I, I don't know how people have time for this shit, to call up the, the man's boss and, and wait and... Do this all. fired up? I know. What Who cares? Who cares? Is it really worth this yeah. trash? Oh, it's yeah. worth every penny, baby, because I've been working <laughs> with you, with your rear end for weeks. Is it worth getting in an I told you what you were supposed to do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Like a damn child. Yeah. I mean, I also have so much empathy for people that do pick up our trash or. Did that stop? Was it ever turned on? Yeah. All right. I just had to do a little camera card switch out there. Um, I was just saying, like, I can't. I don't. I mean, isn't it? Isn't his day like hard enough? He's up at the crack of dawn. He's picking up trash. It doesn't smell good in there. Oh, you don't think she has these thoughts and feelings? <laughs> like, who cares? Let the guy. But don't you also at this point when you me. see someone this upset, <laughs> at some point don't you go, you're not upset about the trash? No, she's upset because she, she weighs too a, much. She didn't get the right bra. That's what she's She really got the upset. wrong fucking support bra. She found out she has 25 pound tits <laughs> each. <laughs> She's upset because she woke up a man. She's so fucking. She's so gnarly, you know. Yeah. She's just angry. She's angry at other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Here, the, the, now she listen. Look, listen to this mocking. She just went like A B C. I fucking talk to you like a baby, and she goes, no, "All right." And you can't even follow instructions. Why don't you go back? How old are you? Why don't you go back? Baba baby, baba baby, da 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 da. Yeah, you know my mom was like this though. I think that's why it also bothers me. I'm like, Healthy, uh, just <laughs> balance. Baba baby, baba baby. Yeah. Da, 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 exactly. Da. My mom would like yell at salespeople like this, or she took it everything personally like this. A E yeah. C D E F G. Crazy. That's she's good at the alphabet. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather do it with her? Yeah. Or at the moose soup lady. 
Uh, it's a really good point. It's a really good thing to think about, actually. Yeah. Um, hmm. Or menstrual blood lady, and she's Come got on, menstrual blood man. on her face as you're doing God. it. Fuck! You guys are doing good! You guys are doing good! Yeah, it's just uh, in the same family. Yeah. They're kissing mm. cousins, these two. Mm. Yeah. New soup lady. She's sweeter. She's sweeter, yeah. 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 She's, she's trying to offer you something, too. This lady's yeah. raging out. Yeah, it's terribly, she's terribly so, unattractive. She's just... Uh. <laughs> Four bad women. Let Look me at her. say this to the universe. Oh, dear. And you go to a customer's garbage cans, and they got five bags, then you charge them <laughs> for one extra. But you got enough common sense to pick the sucker up. Yeah. Oh, look at those no tits. Comments. Yeah, they're moving yeah, now. They're moving now. I, I, I didn't see them move before, and now I see them yeah. swinging. No, you you got to restrain those tits. Yeah. No, no, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Gen- oh. Oh. yeah. Oof. This guy. I mean, she's. this is like a, kind of feels like an audition. Yeah. The way that she's, she's very theatrical, what she's doing. Sure, sure. I'm, uh, I'm kind of impressed yeah. by her <laughs> acting skills. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> look. <gasps> look at those tits go. Oh yeah, she's on drugs or mental illness. You know, you do that sometimes. What the chicken thing? I don't begog like that. Yeah, you do. What, 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 I've, I've heard you do it. I've heard you you do chicken things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my thing. Do it, do it. <laughs> See? Yeah, you do I'm it really well. good at it. Yeah. Hey, she's really losing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and you see if the little tits mental move. illness, little thing. Called oh, look at the tits move now. Illness, yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I wish that mirror wasn't there. Whoa. Oh. Dude, Whoa. she got the the fucking. You Ooh, see this movement swirlers. here? Yeah, the yeah. They swirlers. they hit. They bam, bam. Wow, oh, there's some big old milkers. God, huh? look at those flap wagons. Oh my huh? god. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at those dumpers. Yeah, she got big old fucking dumpy tits. I hate when these videos end like this, and I don't know what happened next. Yeah, or what the resolution was, or anything. Yeah, it is compelling. It is compelling stuff. If anybody knows what fifty pound tits. <laughs> did next anyone has a follow-up we'd love to hear about it i mean hers way more than mine right oh yeah of course yeah okay those are three times the size of your Just tits checking. speaking of your tits three times. um <laughs> three times at least i harness mine properly like i buy the right size bras yeah you got i gotta do that um here it is where is it uh better da, 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 da. i'm I sorry mean, seeing a lot of uh, votes on how much my tits weigh yeah, that's what I was trying to find. I saw. Sure. I'll just tell you the tweets I've been getting. People Here have been ranging from six pounds each to two and a half to 15 or 20. I have some relevant info regarding the weight of Mommy, <laughs> Mommy Tina's mushy perps. My girlfriend had G size yeah. sloppy hangers when I first met her. Sure. Due to them interfering with our cum hugs and her spine curvature, <laughs> she had them reduced to C cups <sighs> and lost a total of five pounds <gasps> from the operation. Jean's hangers. Have got to be high and tight with mommy milk, so fifteen pounds a, f- a piece is a fair estimate. <gasps> Love you both. Wow. Wh- so when I'm when they're full of milk, for sure, at least. Yeah, because they keep growing during your pregnancy. Well, right now they're yeah they're getting bigger now even more. Yeah. Because they're, st- they're the milk ducts are starting to. And then uh, wow. people have submitted different techniques. Oh, great! Quick solution for tit weight: just have <laughs> Tina stand on a regular bathroom scale. Then have her do it again while Tommy holds up her tits. Oh. Subtract the difference. That's from Dane. Okay. And well, let's think about that. Does that really work? Yeah. I, I, yeah, so I, I just, guess that would work. I don't know. But I feel like, I mean, huh. that's a technique, but it's not going to be as accurate as just getting that tit Yeah. Weight. I'm not so uh, sure. Someone said they weighed their tits <laughs> on a deli scale. Um, if you'd be interested. Years ago when I was just a last with double Ds, I worked for a deli. It was a slow Sunday. <laughs> working with the all-female staff. They were not as blessed as I am in the titty department and like to gently tease me about my abundance. We wildly, we uh, wondered how much they weighed. Uh, well, we had it, happened to have a deli meat scale at hand. We were silly <laughs> on free milkshakes and all the weed we smoked in the basement. Uh. So we gave it a try. After placing a sheet of deli tissue on the scale, I stepped up, popped out my bra, and proceeded to weigh them. I had a lefty at 4.7 pounds. Wow. On the right was 5.2 Wow. We then sanitized the scale, and everyone got their tits out. 
um, <laughs> and there was hot scissoring. Just kidding. We cleaned up and clocked out. Now I have a great story to tell. My job interviews. <laughs> Keep your mushy purples high and tight. Lisa in Virginia. If you would like any advice on how to accomplish a tit weigh-in, I consider myself to. pretty much an expert <laughs> in the sport. Well, now I just have to get my hands on a deli scale. That's right. People have mentioned that. They've been mentioning that. Somebody else said that this kitchen scale is something you could do. Huh. Um, okay. A couple months ago, my boyfriend and I had the same question, so I got out <laughs> the glass top kitchen scale, <laughs> laid it on the edge of the table, and got down to the level of the table where the bottom of my tits lined up with the top of the scale, and I plopped a tit on top. <laughs> I'm a 34 <laughs> double D, and each one rounded out to six pounds. <gasps> Whoa! So 12 pounds total. Holly wow. in Newfoundland, Canada. P.S. I estimate Christina's tit weight at 18 pounds. <laughs> wow. So we can just buy one from Amazon. Yeah. Glass. yeah. The glass scale? The glass scale. Dude, hey, so here's the thing, though. But how do you know that the pressure of you, I know what she's saying, you're going to plop it on there. But how do you know you're not putting more pressure on the scale by how you're standing? Well, that's or... a th something to consider. Fuck. Of course. These are all factors. I think the deli scale might be the only <laughs> Yeah. Do you think we could try the whole farts? You think they would let us do it? Yeah. We're friends with those workers. Yeah. It's totally possible. A deli meat scale. Because a deli meat scale, I feel like it's used to being very precise. Mm -hmm. You know, you measure out thin slices of meat. It's, <laughs> it's very precise. You're right. <sighs> those are big tits. Those are real the big tits. double Ds even. I'm surprised how much those weigh. Huge titties. I want to get mine reduced after, definitely. <clears throat> what do you want to bring them down to? C. God, a C cup will be like being in fifth grade again for me. I can fucking run. Right before this, uh, we started recording, I saw this came up that um, Sony Pictures has apologized. Yeah. After Peter Rabbit, the movie, exploits a food allergy, upsetting <laughs> some parents. Oh, oh, the, a food allergy, huh? Her son has food allergies, and a scene in the film shows blackberries being used as a weapon. <laughs> the backlash to the scene has already drawn an apology from the filmmakers. Oh, good, good. Holy shit. Well, I'm glad we're apologizing. The big corporations are yielding to these idiots. That's great. Ugh. Good example. Encourage the other dummies to come forward. Allergies are often not taken seriously enough. <laughs> to have them trivialized on the big screen by such a popular character is immensely disappointing. Uh -huh. In a statement... Sony Pictures apologized. Food allergies are a serious issue. <laughs> Our film should not have made light of Peter Rabbit's arch nemesis, Mr. McGregor, being allergic to blackberries, even in a cartoonish, oh slapstick way. The statement, which attributed in part to the film's directors, writers, and producers, added, we sincerely regret not being more aware and sensitive to this issue, and we truly apologize. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this the end of us? Is this the end of America? I mean, this is a food allergy joke. And here's the thing, you know, I was as I was posting Christ. Uh, a joke about He-Man the other day on my Instagram. It's a it's a meme that someone sent me on Twitter. It's like He-Man has now changed it himself to They Man, and I and I was just picturing the backlash. That's the joke, though. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny. funny. Yeah. and um, and somebody being like, "But I'm non-binary," and I was really thinking about this in a logical, philosophical way. Yeah. Okay, so what's wrong? So someone has a food allergy. What's wrong with making a putting it in a story that somebody has a food allergy? You know what I'm saying? Well, because you're making they made fun of, like he was re, he was trying to find his EpiPen and then he went into anaphylactic <laughs> shock and that was the joke. Was, he did not. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's what it but says. so what? So what if somebody's upset about uh, I have that thing and you can't make well, fun of it? Well, that's that's what that's that's exactly that's the logic, it. right? It's, it's that it affects me. It, uh, it makes me sad, therefore you can't j joke yeah. about it. Yeah, you it's can only joke flawed. about things that don't affect me. Me, personally. Yeah. But here we go. If we keep apologizing to everybody, then it's an infinite apologies well, and we yeah. can't talk about shit. Yeah, I'm sure that um, you could go to some of these people and be like, uh, how do you feel about jokes about Mexicans? And they'd be like, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any Mexicans. I know about these... Fucking peanut allergies. I mean, these blackberries are upsetting to my to me personally because I have the allergy. Oh, it's, it's very selective. Yeah, it's just it's always about ex only what affects you is is offensive. The lot is just the logic. So I was thinking to myself, let's say I, somebody is going to uh, contact me from the non-binary community. I'm non-binary. Okay, yeah. so what? I know. So why does that mean I can't joke about it? Because you're being I don't know. You're being insensitive to 
something that okay. affects me. So I'm being insensitive. And so why is that? Is it necessarily immoral? Is it wrong to be insensitive? It's not funny. It's not funny because it's something that that um, that I've I've been going through, and I can tell you that it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny for you, right? But it's funny for everybody else. Well, they shouldn't be laughing because it's not a funny. They, topic. So we should control the external world to make your internal. You world should just happy. Fu- if you were actually funny, you could figure out something else to joke about <laughs> that favorite. didn't. It wasn't at the expense of people uh, with allergies who haven't decided their pronoun yet. It's my favorite. Yeah, no, it's it's an endless cycle. I mean, it could just go on and on and well, on. And the problem too, like I said, is these Sonys are kowtowing to this horribly stupid That's logic. That's the amazing part is that they extended an apology for that. I mean, is there a huge blackberry allergy community that... It must be somewhat significant. I think it's also not even just blackberry allergies. It's just parents. I mean, I have friends. We we know people whose uh, children are allergic to, um, you know, foods. Peanuts. And- are you kidding me? When LJ, I, I, I put him in preschool when yeah. I was doing the enrollment papers... They give you a sheet this long, yeah. just reading you the riot act on do not pack any not related, yeah. no peanut butter, almond butter, nut butter, Nothing. soy butter, any kind, no nuts, yeah. no nuts. Granola bars, you have to buy them without nuts. Is that even possible? I get, is there I mean, even a granola bar well, without fucking that's nuts? the thing is that I, I uh, totally get that part and I get- I did too because some kid's going to die. Yeah, no, bring, I get it. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah. it. And I get it that it's a, you know, it's it's a real, real serious issue yeah. for some families. I'm glad we don't have it. Yes, of um, course. But I still think you can make jokes about it. Yeah, why allergies. can't you make fun of the allergy? Not you're not yeah. making fun of the kid. You're making fun of the, th- the fact that they have to give you a sheet now because of the thing or whatever the joke is. I mean, people have AIDS jokes. Oh, such good ones. And you know, yeah. we haven't heard enough. I feel like I people so have either. been reining it in. People have Holocaust jokes. Ha- yeah, rape. Uh, rape rape is great. Yeah. I don't uh, know. If that, I'm glad that was your sentence, but <laughs> But yeah, people joke about all types everything. of things. deafness, uh, disabilities, everything. Yeah. yeah, we've. I think you and I have covered yeah. a few of those personally. Yeah. I've heard from a few people. <laughs> I know it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the thing is, the answer for all those people is like, just don't laugh yeah. if you don't think it's funny, and also watch something else. Watch something else. Move on with your life. Are there no other movies playing right now? Well, here's the thing. You know me and I don't like vomiting. Yeah. I have a phobia of vomiting. So whenever it's in a film, I just don't like it for yeah. that brief second. Right. And then you but move then on. But then would I write the, the movie people and let them know, I have a phobia. I don't like seeing it. You, you should. should take it out. Yeah. You just go, oh, that's a moment that I'm not going to care for in this guy's act. It's just so silly. It people is. are fucking out of their mind. I'm kind of enjoying watching people spiral, though. <laughs> I'm kind of getting off on it now. Like now that it's extended to food allergies, yeah. Now it's it's great. I hope it keeps going. I I hope it. I hope the the outrage keeps going to more it and will. more absurd things. Like I hope they start going like, and then he made fun of his friend for not liking cheese in the movie. And I come from a dairy family, <laughs> and, I, and then somebody's like, you know, we should have been thoughtful about the 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 dairy community in wisconsin and yeah we apologize for that joke and that and then just let it keep going let it you know but the only reason that the sony's of the world are apologizing is because of the internet and the visibility of these dummies who rally together in facebook groups and groups and oh, on yeah. twitter and they they use social media uh to collectively be idiots and and you know sony doesn't want their name being tarnished i'm assuming oh. so they have to shut these idiots up somehow it's it's ridiculous anyway speaking of lunacy we found the best goddamn reality show last night oh my god oh what's it called so... love uh Hold on, i posted it on my instagram i'm at christina p i think it i am Let is a maze i'm the christina p it's called love after lockup and you would think that it would just be a show about like dating but it's yeah. better than that. Oh my god! It's people that are marrying convicted felons. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> I wonder uh, what is it called again? You just said Love it? After Lockup. It's on We TV, and we were scrolling through last night. You were taking a shit as usual, and I saw this gem, and I thought it doesn't get any better than inmates dating non-inmates, and, I, see, and it's not dating; it's can, uh... marriage. <laughs> Jesus, help me, Jesus. <laughs> they found love online. I discovered Allah <laughs> in the website. I thought, oh my God, she's beautiful. Yeah. I just hope he thinks I look pretty. Like, where does he live? Well, he lives in California. Yeah, he uh, sure does. Uh, With uh, a convict. He is in prison. 
I looked him up and saw his mugshot. I was like, wow, this guy takes a really hot mugshot. They've never been together outside prison walls. My man is a good man. In prison? Yes, still a good man. Uh huh. I, no. Once released, <laughs> they plan to marry. My dream wedding, my dad would be walking me down the aisle. You're crazy. Why do they have to why do they have to marry immediately? My dad is walking show? down the aisle. I know. <laughs> Daddy said I had a dream <laughs> that daddy would walk me and I would wear down white. The aisle. And there would be horses and all my bridesmaids <laughs> would wear fuchsia. <laughs> yeah, that girl is obsessed. They're now, all fucked up. These yeah, people are actually super sad. sad. Yeah, you can tell that they're all, they're all scared. Like they're like kicked dogs. They're like, I, yeah. I just want a nice owner, you know. Yeah. And oddly enough, ironically, they feel like this will be the good owner. Well, the, yeah, because what it is is that that they say it in the show, like. Well, the thing is, there's less, quote, less risk dating an inmate because there's less, theoretically, things they yeah. can do to you, right? They can't cheat on you. They can't do anything bad. But the irony is they're actually way more harmful to these poor souls because they're criminals. They're manipulating. This This woman took $20,000 from this guy. Well, he's sent her. He sent- <laughs> yeah. And she admits, then she's like, at first I was just like... <laughs> trying to pull money out of them. You're like, oh, first, really? Yeah, I'm yeah. a con artist, and I, but now I'm not. Now it's love. Yeah, I've changed. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. They, My they're... favorite is that one lady's dating a guy who's been locked up for 18, 18. years. 18. 18. He has not seen the outside for two decades. He's never like seen the internet. And she has nothing. kids. Yeah. She has kids. She's like, I'm going to marry him, and like this will be their new dad, instant dad. And you're like, uh-huh. Yeah. Three small children, and they're all like young children. Yeah, nice little sweet kids. And she's Who's our new dad. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he has been uh, doing some stuff, and he's finally here. Yeah, and she—it's nice and thoughtful of her because she also likes to think of what gang affiliation he has when she gets dressed and stuff. Unbelievable. He's like, well, he's a crip, so uh, I can't wear red when I pick him up. And you're like, really? Uh, is that important right that- now? <laughs> Here he is talking about it. I ain't never had a job before in my <laughs> life until I started working That's for right. shit. You know, in and out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Did a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I, look, I, hey, I'm not saying that maybe these guys in prison can't turn it around and maybe they are nice people because not everybody's all rotten. And No, of course not. Sweet and there's and, such thing as redemption and all that. Yeah. But, but I mean... How about you give it a minute before you get married? Running into the to the wedding is a it cannot be a good idea. Well, so then the girl, there's that this is her daddy we're looking at, and she's twenty six or yeah, twenty six. Yeah, so. And her boo is getting out of prison. He's twenty four. Just a laundry list of uh, what is it, vehicular he's stealing cars. He's stealing and, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. He's stealing <laughs> and um He's broken into homes and credit cards. He's uh, my favorite. He's one. He's one of these white boys. He's like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't had a relationship with a female yeah. in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, dude? Yeah. Transracial, I believe. Yeah. He's he really adapted the lingo. He's like a female. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah, and he's cute. I ain't had relations in a minute. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm a Mormon girl. He's a gangbanger. So, did he shoot somebody? I'm going home. Andrea! No! She gets mad when they tease her. <laughs> They're like, you married a guy in prison? <laughs> yeah. Like, where did you get that ring? Like, in uh, at the little penny slot machine in prison? And she's like, you guys are making fun of me. Well, no, she goes, that's disrespectful. You're being disrespectful. It's like, no, they're actually being honest yeah. with you, dummy. Yeah. It's... Uh, so, the, the, the 26-year-old girl... Her whole thing is she just wants the wedding. You know, it doesn't matter to who, just that this guy comes out and that I can wear a dress and my bridesmaids can wear burgundy and we can have a wedding. Like that. It's like you don't even care who you're marrying. Mm-mm. A lot, of, both of these women are like, I just want the dress. I just want. They just want to have their fantasy wedding. Yeah, it's really fucked up. I think that's what's really fucked up about women and how they raise us little girls from the very beginning. Yeah. A lot of this Disney horse shit. 
uh, it's called. I mean, listen, my parents certainly didn't pump that into my head. That no, I know, but I think but. now there's such there's such a level of awareness that you have a chance if you have a little girl Ooh. to to not uh, put that in her head that the greatest day ever <laughs> will be your wedding day, most important day of your the life, most important day of your life, yeah. and you can be a princess oh, that pr- day. for one day. You get to be the princess. And you can wear what you want to wear <laughs> and have all the colors that you love the most. Yeah. Remember, like those gypsies, the big gypsy my, wedding show. Oh my god! And that my, was the whole thing. My mother had put in my head a one solitaire diamond. Yeah. With diamonds all around it. Yeah. And then horses. <laughs> That's my dream. Yeah. And then you just amazing. what? You just live in the memory of that day. I think so. That's the best it's day very of your bizarre. life. I mean, it's so it's so crazy to me that that's the biggest highlight of your life is the stupid fucking wedding. Day. Here's I mean, a you gotta be kidding this me. This is one of the, she's a real so piece of shit. So that in the beginning, I guess you could call him a trick. It yeah. was a trick, a trick in the beginning, and the only thing is though that the way he was with uh-huh. me, how I was able to be honest with him. Yeah, he was okay with me being me. He's broken too. This poor oh, man. Oh yeah, yeah, he's fucked up. He's so just like, uh, okay, baby. I mean, then he's like buying shit he can't afford for oh, her. Oh yeah, well, she's gonna she's gonna bleed him dry yeah, and leave. Of course. Yeah, it's it's all. It's so great though. What a great what a great show and delusion. You get to see how people talk themselves into yeah bad ideas. It's fun if you guys want to show love after. Lock up. I wish I could find this guy. You're both number one in different ways. I found. Uh, this guy is a. Which guy? The transracial man. Yeah, yeah, the transracial guy. <laughs> he's really. He's <laughs> what really race special. does he identify with? Would you say? He's, here he is, Garrett. That's his name. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, nervous. <laughs> oh, and then um, that's the other thing is that. They're marrying people they've never also slept with. Never had sex. Never yeah. had a date. Never had anything normal. Nothing. Can't have conversations on the phone longer than 15 minutes. And then there's the guy marrying the heroin girl. Oh, that. forget. And he's sweet. He was a, he's he's a Marine. He's real sweet. He's an IT guy. He's got crazy eyes, though. Yeah, Dr. Drew was telling us when you see the tops of the whites, it's like a pulmonary thing. I think. Is that? No, that I was think. the chest thing. That was the way he Well, what's breathing. the whites? Is that is that crystal meth or drugs? I don't know what it is, but... We've got to ask Dr. Drew. But, uh, yeah, so he's sweet as can be. He's a good guy. And then it's just Eastern European hall, one of my tribe, uh, ropes him in with the internet pictures of her. And she's a former yeah, recovering uh, heroin addict. Yeah. And she got put in prison for, for what was she doing? It was possession, possession. and intent to distribute or something. Yeah. yeah heroin. Special. <laughs> just heroin. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Could you imagine your child being like, I'm marrying... This well, that's what this shows you. These these parents are like, felon. what the fuck? That one guy is so he's like, you're gonna marry this guy? She's like, give him a chance. He's a great guy. <laughs> the the great guy line is my favorite. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't you think they should? I don't know. Just earn the great guy status. Well, if you have to tell people, yeah. You know what I mean? What is what is up with this great guy? He's doing 18 <laughs> years for armed robbery. Oh, he is it. He's a he's, great guy. He's great at crime. That's yeah. what I meant to say. I'm a pick. I've been waiting and waiting for this day to come. They're going to have sex. We're going to have some sex. She's going to pick him up. Let's see. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to get out of jail. Remember uh, yeah, yeah. she it's gets terrible. some uh, matching outfit? That's the priority is that, that they match. <laughs> so yeah. unbelievable. Twenty three nine ninety eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then yeah. the lady goes and buys a car yeah. for the one of the... The eighteen-year felon guy. She buys him a new vehicle. Okay, let's see. If and she's, there, she's Mormon too, so her community is not going to be pleased with this shit. Looks like you can, uh, uh, by the way, watch this first full episode on YouTube's. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't believe you're home. All right, let me down. <laughs> Love you. Oh my God! Please talk for these people so we can hear him talk. I think he talks right now. I was in prison for burglaries, <laughs> grand theft, stealing from people's homes, cars, Fuck. and uh, for drug drug use and drug possession. I was sentenced to eight years in prison, five years probation, and drug treatment when I was 18. It was definitely crazy, you know, going to prison for all those years, living with 80 guys in a room. I love it. Everyone has ulterior motives. Everyone always wants something from you, you know. Maybe we match. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
Wait, and you mean <laughs> criminals or shitty people? We are definitely uh, feel like one of the best days of my life. So. Are you gonna cry? This guy's white. Like, He's crying. It's one of the best days of my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you so much. Man. I love you. All right, can we go? Yeah, <laughs> babe. My entire yeah. babe. The lamest part is that this bitch brought him a matching outfit. I know. Who does that? Man, I'm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I, when I come to get you out of prison, do you want me to bring our matching? Of course, uh, Adidas, Adidas tracksuits. Of yeah. course, we'll walk out and be like, I'm "Free again." You know what I'm saying? I've been locked up. <laughs> I ain't been with a female in about six and a half years. You I know. would love if you went to prison and came back talking like that. I'm like, who are you? Who am I, bitch? Who the fuck are you? Was, it's Florida talk. <laughs> he's from Florida. That's oh, what is that is. what it is? No, nah, I mean he is from Florida, so yeah, I don't know. But he's um. Yeah, he's been doing his thing. Dade County. Uh, <laughs> I think he's a Tampa boy. Oh, yeah, Tampa. I okay. could see you with a guy like that. For sure. He's actually cute. His, You know what she said? So they, these people... Hot mugshot. Yeah, these people find the inmates on an inmate dating site. That's great. And they put their mugshots up. And she goes, well, he had a hot mugshot. And I was like, this bitch is crazy. And I saw it. I was like, you're right. He kind of does have a hot mugshot. Same with the truck driver... That's with that scam, that hooker. Mm -hmm. She's got a great mugshot. She's smiling at hers and shit. She knew her angles. And so does the heroin girl. <laughs> she was like modeling before. They're all hot. Hot inmates. Yeah, so that's what happened. You know what it is? It's these broken people yeah. go, that hot person ah. would never. <gasps> Wait, like that truck driver said, yeah. like, okay, so like out of jail, she's a 10, but in jail, she's a nine and a half. Remember? Mm -mm. He didn't say it that way, but he goes, I'm like a five. She's like a nine, she's a nine and, a and a half. Yeah. And you go, why do you take away a half a star? Dude? Yeah. <laughs> like whenever you're talking like about star search, your significant <laughs> other, you don't be, you don't dial it back. Right. <laughs> you don't go like she's like a nine and a half. Yeah. Half a point because she's yeah. a felon. But she's, uh, that makes sense. That's By the way, so uh, up. somebody got their mom to do this. Just in case you're wondering. Oh, okay. So I have to do this thing for school. <laughs> I need you just to say something, okay? Can you say? My name is Mary Jo, and I'm a ball hog. <laughs> My name is Mary Jo, and I'm a ball hog. You gotta say it like sexy, like, My name is Mary Jo, and I'm a ball hog. <laughs> My name is Mary Jo, and I'm a ball hog. For school, huh? For school. <laughs> Hilarious. My name is Mary Jo, and I'm a ball hog. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job. Tyler. I like Mary Jo. Uh, just She's a little... Cool. Little audio note, maybe turn down that TV if you're uh, <laughs> trying to get audio <laughs> next right. time. Um, but but right. nevertheless, good job, Tyler. Get your mom on the on the ball hog thing, and then they're cute. This is for you, Gene. Uh, last week, you made me order fartichokes. Yeah, and somebody ordered. Uh, Can you help you? I want to make an order for pickup. <laughs> uh, could I get uh, some? Chicken fartita <laughs> nachos <laughs> without uh, the vegetables. Vegetables, okay. No vegetables. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the yeah. that's the uh, chicken fartita <laughs> nachos. Mm -hmm. you can order rice. All right, I'll be there to pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> there you go. Man, I can't get enough of there this you shit. Go. That's that was fantastic. Thanks, Donald. Man, that was hilarious. I can't I can't laugh enough at those. I, I love when people fuck with people like that. Farted show. Farty does. <laughs> um people have been sending me this on Twitter and now um <sighs> in emails. Now it's here that there is a job that you could really uh, look, you can read it here. What does it say? What's the job description? Scrum master. The scrum master. Senior project of, manager. Yeah, some people have uh, been sending me this. <laughs> scrum master. Scrum master. I didn't know that. That was a job. Fuck my stoma. So scrum master. Yeah, you can, you can be a uh, scrum master, and I I don't think I have to read the description. I'm just says as a scrum master, you'll play a major role in shaping our success. So I can. <laughs> What about a ball hog? What, what am I, a ball hog or a scrum master? I want you to be a scrum master. <laughs> um, this guy uh, sent, Gus sent one of these, and he said, I've been doing uh, some job searching, stumbled upon what could be Mommy Tom's next dream job. I don't know how long the job will stay up. Here it is. By the way, I'm the guy you met uh, with Ari and Brent Chrysler when you guys were leaving Top Golf in Atlanta. Oh. And to attest to Tom's story, 
Brent was the one who proposed I take a picture with him and later with you guys. <gasps> oh. So if there's a trophy for attention whore champion, I think Brent takes it easily. Yeah. Love all your guys' shit. Uh, piss on me and bite my balls. <laughs> Gus from Atlanta. Uh, he's he's yeah. referring to when we left uh, Top Golf. This guy Gus was just like, "Oh hey, what's up, Brent? He's like, you want to take a picture?" Oh, and then boy. was like, "You want to take a picture with the guys?" So oh, boy, it's uh Bert. it's kind of hilarious, but Bert. so uh, Bert. this so basically Bert Aww. saw him and was like, "No, we'll all take a picture," and and made him take That's a picture. Cute. You guys all have beards. Yes, yeah, beard crew. You shall French kiss each other with your beards. Yeah, it's so funny. I was who was I? I was at full charge this weekend. Yeah, and uh, I got recognized a few places, and he was like. You get recognized a lot, and I go, well, it just depends on where, and he goes, but basically every guy with a beard seems to recognize you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think it's true. Oh, that's funny. Guys that look like me are like, hey, I know who you are. Yeah, the bearded group. The bearded you group. You guys will eat each other's scrums and we get- We all scrum out on each other. Get the sauce in your beards. Yeah. Yeah, sniff those balls. <laughs> sniff them. Yeah. That's terrible, babe. That's pretty cool. That's terrible. Um, What is this here? Oh, have you seen this? This is like- Happened a couple weeks ago, and a lot of people were talking about it, but I don't know if you heard about it or saw it. And that is Tom Brady, the quarterback for- Fuck the, Tom Brady. Is that what you're supposed to say? Some people say that. Yeah, I've heard that. I don't know anything but about But he it. did this show for Facebook where he let cameras follow him around. Oh, I heard about this, and yeah. he, his son kissed him or yeah. something, and it wasn't good enough, and he no. went back for seconds. Well, just here, just watch. Okay, let me see. So He's getting like shoulder oh, treatment. I was wondering if I could check my fantasy team. What do I get? <laughs> Clutch. Every now and Jack, everything comes at a cost, but that was like a peck. Who's your fantasy yeah. quarterback, Jack? Not Cam his Newton. dad. Cam Newton. <laughs> see, now that I see it, because I've heard people talking about it. Yeah. Okay, so he goes in for one peck, and then he he goes in for a second one, and the second one's really a meaningful mouth kiss with his dad. It's weird to me. Okay, yeah. L- look, I know that some families, they mouth kiss. Yeah. But I, I think oh. the same sex is kind of, it's a little, for me personally, it's just not my thing. <sighs> I don't mouth kiss our son. I don't no, think that I've that's... Never, I've never mouth kissed anyone in my family. Ever. No, I so, accidentally but... did. My stepdad once, he, he turned his head. Yeah. My Indian stepdad. Well, accidents. It is a- but I'm talking about the regular. Yeah, but that happened it. in the early '90s, and I've been thinking about it ever since. Like it was a bad moment. I think because cheek kissing is so big in um, my mom's culture. Yeah. That like there's never a mistake for a mouth. No, you know? I don't do that. I don't know if if I didn't if I didn't have her, um, I think my dad's family. I, I probably I don't even know if we'd go past hugs. You know, right? You're they're, they're, your dad's more formal. Yeah, they're definitely. Well, more in like, Hungarian, you kiss both cheeks. Yeah. Now it's we're cheek kissers. We're not mouth kissers. This is a very weird thing. I don't. I'm not into this, man. So he's coming back for number two. Yeah, here. it's so sensual too. It's so weird. I mean, let's count it. Let's go. Every you now, Jack. Everything comes at a cost. Oh, no, that, that was like a peck. That, that was the short one. Yeah. yeah so he says, "Come back." back. Yeah. Not Cam his dad. Newton. I'm his Ew. That's weird. I'm his dad. But then here. Wait, did you hear him say, but I'm his dad? I don't know. It was like. Here he is with his dad. I'm his dad. Cam Newton's having a good game. Yes. Are the comments still here? Yeah. So, yeah, this has caused the huge debate online. We've had this. It's a bit awkward. We've had this conversation before. So, he's 11 years old. Yeah. Ooh, 11. Really, Tom kisses his dad, too. Like, it's it's a family thing, maybe, but it's, it's a bit longer than it should be. Yeah. Oh, they didn't oh show it because he God. also they show him Tom with his you know seventy year old dad. And they kiss on the him. mouth. Yeah, on the mouth. Could you imagine kissing Top Dog's mouth? Oh, I feel so bad for my mother. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, the smells alone that come out of your dad's mouth, hmm. his dad mouth on your dad mouth. Ooh, yeah, and I keep drinking coffee. It's gonna my <laughs> my dad mouth's gonna kick in big time. Generational dad mouth kissing. Yeah. Disgusting. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, would you kiss Ellis? No, you don't kiss Ellis on the mouth. No, I mean, I, th- I mean, probably as a, I don't. I kiss him on his cheeks. I mean, that's just. Yeah, I think it's inappropriate. I'm sure I've personally. gotten close, you know, yeah. but he's also two. Yeah, but, but do you yeah. want? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to. No, I'm just saying, like, as a little kid, personally, like, you know how nasty your dad's mouth is. Yeah. My dad's mouth has been nasty since I can remember. Like, just try, putting his mouth on my, uh, I, I don't even like the idea of it. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. 
Ugh, just uh, dad mouth. Ugh, why you gotta be so nasty, why? Tom Brady? Ugh, <laughs> it is nasty. I don't like that. I know. I don't know. I don't want to like. Into it. I don't want to. Um, I'm sure we just contributed to that. That kid probably got tortured at school for that. But well, that that's that's you listen, and that's Tom Brady's fault for exposing his children on the fucking show or whatever. Yeah. But now that being said, I grew up with a family. A, a friend of mine, he would mouth kiss his mother, his father, and his sister goodnight and God hello. Damn it. Yes, they were a nice what were, family. What, were the, what was his ethnicity? They were Jewish. Hmm. White Jews. Uh, and, uh, he was a goth kid with us, which was even weirder. Mouth kissing. And they were a nice family. They were super nice. And it was like, I remember, uh, the mom would be like, Hey, give your sister a kiss. Good night. And then he would go and mouth kiss his sister. Good night. And then good night, dad. Mouth kiss, dad. Mm -hmm. Mouth kiss, mom. I'll tell you what's a weird one too. I've had it happen only a few times, but kind of, I've had some like high society girls Yeah, that are like, there's that they're friends. It's not a dating thing. Greet you with mouse kisses I, I don't and like stuff. That. I know I've had it before too where you go like, and what I mean by high society is, you know, like affluent types who- Like country clubbers. Yeah, but who um, greet you with mouth kisses. Like, oh, and, and like uh, they do with all their friends. Yeah, I you know, friends are one thing. I just, I do, I do think family, especially opposite sex, might be a little yeah. hanky. Now, I don't know. I'll say, I think it's kind of odd. In my family, though, we bathe together, and we have for years. <laughs> and, you know, when I go home and I see my folks, we'll take a bath, or we'll oh, take a shower together. The whole family? Well, a lot of times I'll take it with my mom and dad, and yeah. we, you know, we soap each other up, but it's yeah. like, I've just never thought twice about it. Family shower. Well, in California, too, we have strict water regulations, it's so true, that's kind of a save. nice thing you guys do. And I remember in college, when I would go home, uh, if I brought, like, sometimes my friends would come with me. It would be my dad, myself, and my friend. We'd all take a shower or sure. a bath together. Sure. And that was just how we do things. And then sometimes when you pooped, your dad would poop in between your legs. Or I would poop between his legs. That's right. So we poop at the same time. Right. Which is yeah. also a nice water saver, too. Water saver. But again, I, some people think that's weird. You sure, know? sure. And that's just how we do it in our house. Yeah. I don't know. My family wasn't that affectionate either, but I think the mouth kiss would fucking... I wouldn't like that. Do you... With hungos, you guys do... Cheek kisses. Cheeks. Though. Yeah. One, you two. give one, two, sometimes a third. I've seen, I've been, uh, I think in Spain it was always two, one, two, and then there's places where you do three, one, two, yeah. three. It was, yeah. uh, I think the Swiss do three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hungarians, you say, I did that. No, that's a pussy. lot of work, by the way. I did that pussy, and then oh, you yeah, give pussy. the pussy, stupid. Uh, pussy, for people who don't know, is kissing. Kiss, yeah. Hungo. Yes. Yeah, yeah I do. Um, I think one, two, three is a lot of work. Too much. Yeah, come on. And I didn't like kissing Hungarian guys growing up because they wear a lot of aftershave. And I remember, like, my dad's friends would be have really greasy, smelly cheeks. Yeah. And then they kiss you, they kiss you, they kiss, and then, then you smell like what that fucking Hongo's face smelled like. That's great. You know, uh, that the Argentine shit. men, you kiss each other the same way, you, like, because in, like, in Peru, it's only opposite sexes that greet with a kiss. Oh right, yeah. The Argentines, the men do it to each other. That's fucking and gay. They do too. Yeah, it's super gay. I thought so. The first time it happened, I pulled no. back, and uh, my one of my cousins was like, "Oh no, no, this is no. normal." I was like, "Nah, bro." And then he grabbed your nuts. Yeah, and then he's, he's like, like "Just ball. let it go, relax." And <laughs> no, Hungarians are way too homophobic for that shit. Yeah, they'd be like, "Fuck you, fucking touch me, touch me, kiss me, fucking homo. kiss my dick right now." Yeah, no way, bro. That's Here's some foreigners. These guys are. Let's see. This is the uh, the shepherds. Bush Raiders rugby team. They are an Australian rules football team based in London. Apparently, this speech helped mount a, count, a comeback. I love this type of sports shit. That's why the fucking sticking up everyone's fucking ass is to take this fucking <laughs> off. Fucking on. On. Come on! You feel it now that we've got it? Come on! These guys are fucking stopping! Look at this! Stand there and do nothing! Right. We've got to run the play now so we can take this fucking game! Sticking up their fucking ass because they're. Fuck these cunts. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. How do you guys? Is to push yourselves right to the final. Who are you And boys. take this fucking prize away from these what cunts. Oh, they don't deserve it. We fucking do. Come and on, boys. Who's that? Right? Yeah. I like it. Come on, boys. 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 Come on,
<laughs> it sounds like guy, these guys, but he's saying these cunts, you know, which I respect. Yeah. They came down. They were 48 points down in the second Ooh, quarter, and they shit. won by two after that cunt speech. <gasps> wow. Yeah. See, I feel like I would just talk that way normally. Dog cunts. Yeah. Dog cunts. Dog cunts. I feel like those are the kind of speeches I'd be giving normally. You just talk like that? Yeah. I feel like that's the kind of fire you need to win, you know? Hmm. That's how I talk to myself before I go up on stage. You fucking cunts. Just fucking take this shit down. Do you really down. T- t- tear yourself down before you go up? <laughs> do you <laughs> really like do that? that? No, no. No, but I can't be in a good mood. What? I can't, I can't feel good about myself or feel um, happy. We no. have 100% opposite requirements. <laughs> what? What do you do? I don't like... Go- I've, obviously, you've everyone who's done it this long has gone on stage with the full spectrum of feelings. So I know, yeah. you know... I've gone on stage in a horrible mood. I've gone on stage in a great. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a much better show and a, a better comic when I'm in a great mood and when I feel loose and I'm laughing about stuff. I think I'm a better comic. Yeah. Um, but some people, you know, that energy is is weird on them. No, it doesn't work for me. I have to feel miserable. What? I have to feel a little self loathing, and I have. I just have to get. It's like it's not that I'm really feeling that way, but because I'm a pretty happy person actually. Yeah. But for my comedy brain to flip over, I have to go in there before I can get up. It's mm. like a weird thing. I have to switch into that mode. I can't. I can't just be like happy go lucky and go up there because I, I won't focus. I won't. I won't be funny. I don't know why. You won't be funny if you... If I go up there happy, yeah. like if I'm like, oh my God, my, everything's great. It doesn't work for me. Uh-huh. I have to get cunty. I have to get miserable. It's just how, it's just how it goes, man. It's how it goes. I All got right. to do my, my Tanya Harding. I got to I gotta fight the imaginary, uh, you know, mom figure, I think is what's happening, honestly. Yeah. I got to prove somebody wrong. I'm so crazy in my brain. I got it. Yeah. It's a lot. Well... It's a, it's a lot only for comedy. I, yeah. don't, I don't do it in my regular life, but I just know like that's where I have to access to do the thing that I do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what do you What do you say to yourself? Like, what if you're in a good mood? Yeah, then I have to talk myself down. Into, what do you say? I mean, I just have to get. I have to remind myself of the harder times of stand up, and when I used to have to fight for the audience to pay attention to me. And if I like, I have to go to uh, like Toledo Comedy Connection with two X's when I was opening, I was an opening act. Yeah. And I'm eating fucking nachos for dinner and I'm staying in a motel. I just remember those times. <laughs> and you really, you deliberately take yourself yes, there. Yes, I do. I have to go back to like the the grime and the, the hard stuff. I don't know. And then the performance feels better. Yeah, it's like Rodney, no respect. Like, imagine if Rodney went up there and was like, everything's great, my wife loves me, my kids respect me. It just yeah. wouldn't be, I think for me, how I'm funny is to be just a little miserable, a little, yeah, a little saucy, right? I have yeah. to be a little spicy. By the way, I didn't even see that this was here. We were discussing huh. the pronouns earlier. Um, I work for a social services agency <laughs> and recently my agency forced all staff to declare our gender pronouns publicly in our <gasps> emails. Oh, um, all God. correspondence between coworkers and anyone in the public we might email. While I support individuals' rights to declare their own identity and pronouns, I feel like this top-down decision is way overreaching. Plus, for the people still nervous about it, my work is basically forcing them to make a decision they may not be ready to make. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. I wanted to hear your thoughts before I send HR a long email about huh. my thoughts. Just be like, hey, um, hi, how, how are you? What's your name? What's your pronoun? Mm. Well, here's the thing about gender identity is that it's fluid. So what you yeah. may want to say to HR is today I'm, I'm a her. Tomorrow I could flux and be a he. That is actually an excellent point. Thank and you. I would, I would highlight, I would, I would, uh, make that an even bigger point and say I'm you know I don't appreciate being forced Ooh, to make this good. declaration right now although I see that you're doing it so that people who have made their <laughs> pronoun decision can let people know and people cannot offend them but one of the things that really bothers me is as a gender fluid individual um, I am only into using this pronoun for the moment it doesn't right. mean that I'll like it tomorrow or even by the end of this email all right but yeah exactly our hourly i can yeah. change my gender and y- you can also speak for others and say and others also have the right to change their pronouns Her- on a regular right basis. so here's may i suggest that this email go out at the beginning of each day i i would go a step farther every hour yeah 
hourly an update as to what everyone's pronouns are so nobody's affected negatively when somebody misidentifies their pronouns. What's your pronoun? Yeah. Maybe keep up. I don't know. We used to have these when I worked in offices. You know, the messenger window? Yeah. And whoever's fluxing at the moment can update the entire staff. Yep. So we all, so nobody gets their feelings hurt when they're misidentified. Yeah, that's true. Shoot, it's so that complicated. Means, you nobody know. makes a mistake. <laughs> it's very, you know what it is? Huh. It's logical. <laughs> makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. It's a good way to spend the HR energy. You know what I'm saying? Corporate energy needs to be spent on on pronouns and identifying them. Yeah. Um, what the another fuck? Message. What is this world? Mommies, love the show. Can't wait to see you, Tom, in Omaha. I have a story about my cousin who was born with six toes on his left foot. Yeah. When they went to the doctor to get it removed, they cut off the wrong toe. Shut up. So instead of cutting off the outside pinky, which I don't know what you call that, they cut off the actual pinky toe. No. So look at his foot. He has a two-inch gap between the ring toe and his pinky. And being the messed up person I am, I would laugh every time I saw it. Sure. Fuck all the haters and the cross-eyed doctor who can't tell the difference between a regular toe and the extra one. Billy. Jesus. That's bad luck. How does that happen? You don't have like a big marker that you point to the fucking thing? Yeah. Well, I've read, I've seen that in movies where people put an X on the leg they're supposed to have amputated just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, dude. How do you get the wrong one off, dude? I don't know. Fuck that. I remember in Tampa, it was Tampa. Um, It was a big, it it became a national story, but it was a guy who was supposed to have his leg amputated and they amputated the wrong one. Yeah, cool. So then he became a double amputee. (sighs) God damn it. I know. That's so I mean, that up. toe one sucks, but at least it's, you know, survivable kind of, you know. Yeah, because you, your equilibrium will be off with the, with a, a missing toe, but you won't be completely hobbled. Or at least that guy, the guy, who, you know, I'm sure one of his last thoughts and last things they said was like, hey, at least you'll still have one leg. He was like, that's right, true. Right, right. And then you wake up and they're like, and they're like big ah, mistake. Actually. Big mistake. Say. You're going to lose both. But also, we're going to give you like $6 million. He's like, all right. <laughs> for, is that worth it? Does that make no, it for your legs? No, of course not. <laughs> so what pissed. dollar amount would that be worth to you? <laughs> God damn it. I would be super Do you, do you know that's how the law works, though? The yeah. idea is to make you whole again. That's the phrase they used in my two weeks in law school. Yeah. To make somebody whole again. And what that means is monetary compensation. So that's literally what they're doing is like, we'll just fill up the leg hole with money. It's I didn't crazy. didn't know that um, those monetary settlements are based on the money you have and your ability to earn money. So like when right. Tracy Morgan was in that huge accident with the Walmart driver. Oh, right, 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 right. He, you know, the terms has never been released, but it's been uh, reported that his settlement amount is astronomical because he's earned, you know, he's worth a lot of money and the potential earnings that they could affect when he was out of commission are off the chain They're too. They're diminished. Yeah, right. you don't, you so, don't know how it affected his potential future yeah, earning. Yeah, and so like with him, they don't go like like for a regular Joe, they might say we'll give you five million dollars. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. And with him, it's many, many, many right. times. So more. that's that's his definition of making him exactly. whole, exactly, which is just money, mm-hmm. which is bananas to me. I would also throw in stuff like, I mean, like if you got murdered by someone like I'd be like I want I want that guy to apologize to me every morning I want him to come to my house and like what? get down on his knees and beg forgiveness and stuff like that like Wait, can you add this? that what is this like for instance can't you just demand that whoever did the wrong come and repent like every morning to I you I don't think you can do that I'd like to if someone murdered did you see that guy um that wanted to kill the the in the courtroom who is it it's that famous oh, yeah. trial and he's like to the to the judge, like, can I spend some time alone with this man, the one that was the coach that was molesting? Yeah, the doctor, the, the, uh, doctor. the USA gym. Yeah, oh my and then goodness. he took off, tried to attack him, and the yeah, the cops uh, tackled him, and yeah, but that was great. He's like, can I have a minute alone in the room with this guy? And she was like, no. Yeah. He's like, I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'd be like, good for you. Yeah, totally understandable. Was he even held in contempt or like? I don't know. Probably. I'm sure happened. that's one of those things where they have to. You know, protect yeah. any citizen from that happening. They probably pull them back, and they're like, they're like it's five dollars. It's, yeah. it's all good, man. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could give you five minutes with him. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, Doctor Nasser. Yes, yeah. what a scumbag. Yeah, he was like, he molested, Ugh. sexually abused like hundreds of girls. 
It's so horrible. Real piece of garbage. Um, this was great. This is from Super Bowl week. Uh, this is a guy. His name is Alshon Jeffries, and I think he played college ball at South Carolina, if I remember correctly. He plays for Philadelphia, and one of the big things about the Super Bowl is you have, it's basically media week. There's a lot of hype around the game. So the guys have to do media day, and there's just all these things around the game, and he could not be less interested. <laughs> and you could tell that when he's being interviewed, I mean, this is just magic. I love shit like this. We were talking to Lane earlier, and he said that he and the team and everybody's trying to keep this as normal of a week as possible, but this is anything but normal. How much fun is this, and how much are you enjoying this experience so far? Honestly, I think this shit is... <laughs> <laughs> Terrible doing all this. I think that we could have stayed in Philly and come on Friday or Saturday. Yeah, love it. I love. <laughs> He's totally honest. Yeah, I He's agree. not doing the um, the answer that they want you to like. The yeah. NFL wants you to be like, "This is great, man. I'm having so much fun." Then you wouldn't get to see Timberlake and all the other celebrities Gives here. A shit. It's part of the experience, right? Uh, <laughs> be a normal person. Now. He bleeds just like I bleed. He goes through yeah. feelings just like I. So, I mean, he's, he's a celebrity to you. I mean, hats off to him. I listen to his music. I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, great artist. But I'm here to play football. I care less about all that other shit. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I care less about that yeah, other shit. Agreed. It's such a great answer. Did you see the temperature for game day on Sunday? We're playing indoors. Oh, shit. If you were outside, though, if you how were. would that affect it? I don't think the Super Bowl will be in, in the winter. I mean, we'll be here. Makes sense. They had it in oh cold in New York, right? I don't think the Super Bowl will be here. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, Good for him, he, though. He's got a point. I mean, do you see the temperature for we're playing indoors? Doesn't matter. What if you weren't? Like those hypotheticals? It's like, what? But can you imagine if you guys weren't allowed to wear helmets on <laughs> Sunday? Yeah, that would be crazy. I mean, we're, yeah, don't bother me. The temperature doesn't matter, dude. You know what I was thinking about these athletes and they're traveling to China and even these guys that have to play foosball. Mm -hmm. I mean, more time you can spend at home sleeping normally, eating normal food, you know, not in a hotel room where of you course. can't sleep. And, and they're disrupting their lives. They're not going to be in optimal shape. The distraction, you know, the potential Silly. for distractions is the big thing. Yeah. That, that's really what the worry is when you, yeah. play, when you play in these games. No, that's just sad. It, he's right. Let me stay home. I can be with my fucking family. There's um, some uh, double pipe validity questions here. Okie dokie. Let's see. Hey, Hitlers, today at work I had a double pipe classic for the first time in two years. I have a question about its validity. I had been chewing gum all day. Oh, interesting. Which I heard acts as a laxative. So does it count if my body was getting a little help from a possible laxative? Fuck me, piss on me, and beat me, John. No, chewing gum is not a laxative. It's not. I, I thought he was going to say it probably contributed, um, and he would be correct in assuming, to maybe that burp. No, the, the air. burp. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're chewing and you're swallowing air. Piss uh, on me, beat me. Um, I think it's definitely still a double pipe. I mean, uh, everybody who has one no. ate or drank and had something ahead of time. You yeah, know. but you can't listen. But he's this person's saying that they've kind of enhanced the odds of having a double pipe, that, and, and that's yeah. manipulating the score. I'm sorry, I, no, I don't not. agree with that. That's like saying you I chewed I, gum. I ate a can of beans and then I drank soda and then I had a double pipe classic. Well, yeah, because you're manipulating. No, that uh, would definitely still count because people eat beans and drink soda all the time, and it doesn't happen because you're still like. The air, it's not that, that air is going to come out because you ate or drink. That's why you have that gas buildup. It's that they came out at the same time. If they really did burp fart same time, then you had one. Well, I mean, Tom, this is like, you know. It's not a sneeze it's like, fart. It's like if you take steroids and you win the race. Is no, that still going that is not to be winning? And I think that if the double pipe classic occurs in nature, it's natural. It happens without forcing it. Your logic uh, is really the, off on uh, this. No, I think it's equivalent to using steroids How to is win. It, what do you mean? But the Tour anything, de France. Anything that you eat is going to affect your gas. So then you're saying like, okay, I had uh, tacos for lunch. Does it count? No, because you had no. Like, but we're talking about gaming the system. It's I'm, not gaming. I'm the system. talking about uh, purposely loading up on refried beans and purposely drinking a lot of soda to create the effect of the double pipe. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you happen to have tacos. Uh, and that's a different thing. I'm saying this, per this person's saying they're forcing it. They didn't say I forced. They said I had gum and then something happened. That's a rare event. It is a rare event <laughs> and you get credit. It is a double pipe classic. Uh, you did it, John. You did it. All right. 
That's what you think. I, you know, potato, potato. I think it should occur without interference. I but just wait, do. So when, when, like, let's say he's like, I had a, a Coke before. Does it count? Now it doesn't count either? Like, what What can be here's consumed? What, here's what, here's what, okay. It'll count. It's fine if it's just a Coke. Okay, let's just say, no, no, I'll tell you why. Yes, yes, you may, you, you may increase the burbage, but you're not, it's not going to affect your fartage. Now, if you were to say, I ate a bunch of refried beans and dried apricots, and then I loaded up on Coke, you're trying to game the system. And a double pipe classic has to kind of happen organically. You cannot force it. You just can't. Unreal. And if it you is. do, it's cheating. I don't think that's fair. I don't I think mean, that's right. I would say what is, I'm going to go out and say this. I don't think you should be able to weigh in on this if that's your logic. I mean, you're like one of those corrupt referees that's also betting on games. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, a lot of people have been writing about last week's Would You Rather. We did Would You Rather, all the music you listen to is the song The Heat Is On. The H is O. Or all the movies you watch be Sister Act 2. And now people wrote in. Back in the in, habit. Back in the habit. So if you don't mind doing the full title. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and people were like, Christina, what about when the music happens in the film? Is it the heat is on? No, those are two mm. separate things. If you're if you chose the only film you can watch is Sister Act Two, Back in the Habit, you're entitled to all the tunes and all the music you will of hear that movie. Oh, in interesting. Sister point. Act Two, Back yeah. in the Habit. It's not that you'll hear the, the H's HSO on. all the time. Yeah. So, it, but but they're saying if you chose the H's O as your only music. Then if you're watching Sister Act 2, will you hear the H is O? Oh, right. that's interesting. Right. Oh, then that would be yes. Sorry, sorry. So I'm I'm, f I'm fucking flipping here. Jesus Christ. Well, let's say you choose the H is O. The Every best. form of music you hear will be the heat is on. So right. you watch Sister Act 2. But that two. means you get to watch. No, but, but that's the thing. You get to watch whatever movie you want now. But any form of music you hear is, will be the heat is on. Right. So in the movie Sister Act 2, they could be singing Hallelujah Jesus, but you're going to hear the heat is on. Because you're you, the only songs you can hear are the heat is on. You don't. I'm sorry. So you you don't get to. I think you're confused by the question now. Wait. Uh, the, initially, it was if you choose one or the other. Yes. Sorry, I am confused. If you yeah. if you pick songs. Okay. If you pick, I get to listen to any music I want. Right. 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 And your only movie is Sister Act Two: Back in the Habit. Okay. Yes. Then you can listen to any music you want. You only get one. If film. you pick Sister Act Two. Oh, wait, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, okay. go. If go. you pick, I can listen to any music Right, 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 I want. yes, yes, sorry, sorry, Then your only movie is Sister Act Correct, two, correct. Back in the Habit. You can listen to any music you want after that, but you can never watch any TV or films. You only get to watch Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit, and you get it in its, in its entirety okay. with okay. the way it's performed. Okay. If you pick, I don't, I'd rather have the other choice. In other words, I'd rather be able to watch any film right. Then you only get one song. In that case, the only music you ever hear is the HSO. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. That makes sense. Does that answer the question, though? Yeah, I think okay. so. Um, all right. Is there anything uh, else, Gene? I don't think so. I mean, I got to get a deli meat scale. That's right. I might get my hands on one of those. We should just look on Amazon and see if it's possible. <sighs> Uh, we gotta weigh using this our tits. banner. Yeah, I mean, we gotta be able to weigh. I'm gonna get a glass one, like that lady said. Yeah, using our banner. Your mom says podcast on. Yeah, yeah. Click uh, on the banner. Uh, uh, homepage. Uh, 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 kicks a little back to the show. <laughs> so, all right, that's it then, Gene. Yeah, that's it, mom. TomSegura.com, Christina P Online. Dot com, your mom's house podcast. Dot com. Thank you as always for listening to our show. Here is a song I haven't heard yet. Uh, it's called How Do You Not Find It Funny by Alan Bell. Ready, Gene? Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Jeans. Bye, Gene. Bye, Gene.